Here we are in Corso Como. Corso Como is actually the name of a street in Milano, but it's also the name of a very famous shop that has been famous for the last 25 years that you all probably know. So this is the old city, let's say, but behind it there is a new city going on, and that's what I'm going to show you. Italian bureaucracy is a very slow elephant. That's what, you know, it has always looked like to me. So that it surprised me very much to see this intervention that was actually finished, was actually completed. It took a few years, but it's here now. I mean, and if you think that this is a country where to, to make a subway, it, it takes 20, 30 years. I mean, it really wonders me. This is kind of an international updating that uh, Milano is doing. I mean, you guys are from London. I mean, this is something that you're kind of used to. But for people in Italy, it is not at all. I mean, you need to go to Berlin, to London, to Paris sometimes, but this is not very Italian. This is super finished, very high quality. I'm proud of it. You see the building over there? It's actually the vertical forest from Stefano Boeri. He was one of the architects involved in the whole area. I mean, it's really going to change this part of the city. And uh, let me tell you, it's unusual. I mean, as an Italian, I can tell you, it's absolutely unusual. It's unusual because in Italy, it's the country of the never-ending stories. I mean, there is a railroad that goes from Salerno to Reggio Calabria, that they've tried to build it for the last 35 years. You know what I mean? It's like in Italy, you start things, but you will never finish them. So this is a very good example of how you can actually solve the bureaucracies in kind of a magical way and finish the site and actually build it. It's also quite unusual because it's difficult for people to talk about contemporary architecture and contemporary design in a country so much linked to the past. You know, whenever you try to propose something new, you know, people say, ah, but we have such a tradition. And, and this tradition often blocks a lot of the, of the um, um, will of change that we have in, in this country. So.